Mateo Perez interviewed me about it for a full hour. He told me not to tell him. making sure there's nothing there that could damage MF in the long term. Good for her. Yes. Sir, I will have to pat you down if you want to come through. Security measures. This will just take a sec, sir. All right. Good job, sir. Thank you. This is the vault, 47. Really sorry, the data core should be behind that large steel door. Hmm. The vault looks even more fortified than we feared. If I'm not mistaken, only high-tier security is allowed in here. Access seems to be restricted to the use of a keycard of some sort. Watch. Hang Dr. on. Perez, There's a similar security hub on the second floor. You might be able to acquire what you need there. It's a bank. There's always things going on in a bank. As long as I don't lose my job, I'm not worried either. But I am. You're still paying and stuff, so we'll be fine. We'll all be fine. Well, I hope so. Greetings, sir. I gave this place everything.
Sir, I will have to check you if you want to pass, okay? Just relax. You'll be on your way in a sec. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. Mr. Jackson, have a seat, please. Thank you. Mr. Jackson, as you must be aware, we've been running some numbers internally to measure the flexibility and productivity of people working here at the bank. Work hours, output versus input, sales portfolios, late nights and early mornings, things like that. I've been reviewing personnel files for the past few weeks, and a couple of files stood out. Yours, for instance. Is that so? I have quite specific expectations when it comes to my employees. How you appear and act reflects directly on me and this building. And, well, you've certainly managed to stand out, Mr. Jackson. Tell me, do you knit those sweaters yourself? Or does your wife do that? A man needs a hobby, Miss Savalas. Guard, leave the room. I need a moment alone, Mr. Jackson. So, Mr. Jackson, I'm pleased to inform you that you will be able to explore your hobbies in even greater detail in the near future. I appreciate it. This is a stressful situation, but if you would be so kind as to sit down. So, Mr. Jackson, I'm pleased to inform you that you will be able to explore your hobbies in even greater detail in the near future. We're letting you go, Mr. Jackson appreciates your contributions over the years, but we feel it's probably best to part ways at this time. This may upset you, but let me assure you that eventually you will come to embrace this point in your life as an opportunity. This is not my first termination, Miss Savalas. Ah, uh, somehow I'm not surprised. HR will send you all the relevant papers, Mr. Jackson. How are you today, sir? That's the first backup data disk secured. Two more to locate.
that's the dream. Playing with everyone's money but your own. Feeling better, I hope. Should I let HR know you're ready for the final interview? I feel like a new man. I'm ready. Wonderful. Follow me, please. It's right down here. Best of luck in your interview, 47. Let's see where this will lead you to. Good to meet you. I'm Kevin, and this is Melissa. We're both with HR, and we will be guiding you through this last test. It's important to stress that there's no pass or fail here. It's merely a standard personality test meant to gauge how you'll fit into our corporate culture. All right. If you're ready, let's kick this off, okay? I'm ready. Okay, so this is a very simple test. All you do is pick a card and tell us what you see there. Now, it's important to point out that there are no right or wrong answers here. It's just to give us a better impression of who you are on a psychological level. Does that make sense? Yes, I'm ready. All right, Mr. Thomas, uh, let's proceed then. If you will, please pick the card that most conjures up the word opportunity. This one. All right, now look at it closely. Take a few moments, then tell me, do you see an animal or an object? Animal. I see. What kind of animal? A bird. An eagle, perhaps. An eagle. Very interesting. A forceful animal. Anything else? It's feeding on something. Feeding? On what? A carcass. The scene is reflected in a pool of blood flowing from the body. It's a vulture feeding on someone else's kill. That's very graphic, Mr. Thomas. Yes. Brutal, even. Right. Very interesting observation, Mr. Thomas. <sighs> Not what we expected, but, but that's perfectly fine. Let's take the next one, shall we? Pick any of the remaining cards that make you think of execution, please. I'll pick this one. Good choice. Tell me, what is the first thing you see here? Just the very first thing that comes to mind. I see a figure in a large coat. Perspective skewed, as if I'm looking at him from the ground. He's got something in his hands. I... uh... go on. He's armed. Dual firearms. Large caliber pistols. I see. What else do you see? He's just finished a job. Perfectly executed. And who is this man? It's me. Very... Very interesting, Mr. Thomas. Well, that's a very creative interpretation, Mr. Thomas. Uh, I think we've just got time for the last card. Please proceed. Uh, this last card should hopefully make you think of prosperity. Okay. Oh, very good. This is an interesting one. What do you see here? Take in the whole image, please, and in as much detail as possible, tell me what this reminds you of. Wealth. Hmm. Can you elaborate on that? I see a big pile of money earned performing questionable actions. And how do you feel about that, bending the rules of the game? It's what I do. 
Very good, Mr. Thomas. Well, I have to say, that was very impressive, Mr. Thomas. With your cutthroat approach and killer instinct, I think you'll fit right in with Milton Fitzpatrick. Wouldn't you say so, Melissa? I couldn't agree more, Kevin. Mr. Thomas, allow me to congratulate you on your new position as an investment banker here at Milton Fitzpatrick. Thank you. When do I start? <laughs> well, aren't you an eager beaver? Well, we expect you to come in tomorrow at 8. Welcome on board, Mr. Thomas. You know what? If you want, feel free to have a look around the bank. You've got clearance all the way to the top. Get to know the place. Just don't go into the CEO's office. We don't want to lose you on your first day. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure you can see yourself out, Mr. Thomas. Have a nice day. Eye on those people in the upstairs conference. That's right. Now crap this old building. Wireless. Now the director hates seeing cables anywhere. Well, she had a router installed in her office, but it dies a lot. Hence a need for IT to drop by every now and again. Got it. I'm going for a round. Nobody gets a lot of money. Right, that Charles. How are you today, sir? Has anyone seen the Jameson TA-419? It was here a minute ago. Damn it. I don't really feel comfortable with this. It's just a job, you know? No, Wayne. The job is to find and expose irregularities and signs of fraudulent behavior. Expose, not hide. I understand Athena Savalas pulls a lot of weight in the industry and the partners are dying to please her, but... We're complicit now. It's pretty obvious that some second. Forty seven. That's Fabian Mann, head of accounts at this branch of Milton Fitzpatrick. He should have part of the backup data core on his person. That's the last objective completed. Exfiltrate the bank, 47. Miss Hall will want to have a close look at that data.
Olivia has found something interesting. I'll tell you on the way. Where are we going? To Paradise, 47. Welcome to the Maldives, 47. The Haven Island staff is ready to receive you under your assumed identity as Tobias Reaper, a professional thief looking to retire from a life of crime. Ludmilla Vitrova can be found in the public sections of the island, primarily tending to client needs. Stephen Bradley alternates between looking after a strict training regimen and working on a small private island while Tyson Williams roams his large villa estate at the back of the island. This is it, 47. Eliminating the three owners of Haven should buy Miss Hall the time needed to do a full penetration and retrieval of the Providence partner data. Best of luck. Mr. Reaper, welcome to Haven. Here is the key for your personal hut. Um, it's the one behind you on the right. Oh, and Miss Fatrova asked me to tell you that she has left a personal message for you in your hut. Have a good day, sir. Mr. Reaper, uh, welcome. Oh, I'm here at your service, so if there is anything you need, please, don't hesitate to ask. your note.
I'll keep it in mind. That is Ludmila Vitrova, English-born former confidence artist of Russian descent and current client handler for Haven. Careful with this one, 47. Miss... Looking good today, sir. Mr. Reaper, so good to see you. You mentioned an offer. Yes, it's a little embarrassing, but... We've had an incident, a theft. The thief is an employee here, a person working in Mr. Williams's villa at the other end of the island. What was stolen? A USB drive containing some sensitive information, personal information, which I would rather not fall into the hands of others. So, my offer is this. Obtain the USB drive from the thief without alerting anyone at the villa. The thief is likely still there. I can't get you inside, so you'll have to use that particular skill set of yours to gain access. Do that, and I'll convince Mr. Williams to give you a 50% discount on our service fee. That's a million dollars, Mr. Reaper. A generous offer. The information must be valuable. Mostly to me. It's very personal. Please call me as soon as you've recovered it. Very well. I'll call you. As I just said, you know, if you need anything or feel unsafe. I haven't felt this safe since my husband. Well, you're all here for a reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But hey, you never know. I mean, a tall, dark stranger show up on me. Hey, you! Where do you think you're going? Oh, definitely not through here. Step up, 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 up. Get out of my face. Go. Jeez. That was weird. You, take a look. Affirmative. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Fine day, sir. sir.
Listen here, pal. I'm sorry, but you are not getting through. What is it about that freaking trespassing that you don't understand? Understood. Great. Oh? Command, thought I heard something. Check in. Out, over. Man, I just heard something. I don't know. I'm going to go check it out. Shutdown protocol? Did the numbers check out? Yeah, stats say it's functioning, but we haven't had to do this in years. Remember how long it took to get to it back then? God, yeah, that was hell. Never seen these patrols so freaked out. I think she was getting to foster food.
glad we don't have to talk to that Petrova woman anymore. Did you notice how clingy she was last night? Portman could hardly get away from her. Embarrassing. She certainly seemed eager. I overheard her talking to one of the staffers. Well, apparently she... Did we meet? That is Stephen Bradley, notorious hacker, chief programmer at Haven. Ah, Mr. Reaper. So good to see you again. Follow me, please. Well, let's see where this ends, shall we? You, leave us. You have the item with you. Can I have it, please? Here you are. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Mr. Reaper. I can't tell you how much this means to me, Mr. Reaper. I'm afraid things aren't quite as serene here as they may seem on the surface. I'm slowly beginning to understand that. Tyson, Mr. Williams, he's not well. Hasn't been for some time. We used to be together, but his illness. I couldn't take it anymore. I don't know why I'm telling you this. He monitors my every move. I think he asked that girl to steal my information because he wants to... I don't know. Punish me? Kill me? Who knows anymore? Sounds hard. You have no idea. I... I sometimes wish he'd just disappear, you know? Vanish from the face of the planet. Anyway, I shouldn't bore you with my personal problems. You've been very helpful, and I will honor my promise and make sure that you get the discount. Perhaps we'll see each other at dinner one of these nights. One-on-one, -on -one, maybe. One-on-one -on -one sounds ideal. Excellent. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have a few calls I need to make. Good day to you, Mr. Reaper. Two targets remaining. Good work, 47. Ludmilla Vitrova has been permanently retired. Hello, sir. Found anything on the security tape yet? My ass on the line here, got it. Whoever stole Mr. Williams' credit Have a nice. 
nice day. Is this a, the old affliction? Good afternoon, sir. Me again. I knew this place was bad for me. Mr. Williams, I understand you were looking for this. A USB drive. Finally, some good news. And the thief? Taken care of. Good. Good. I like you. Come with me. I'd like to personally reward you for I your good work. Access to William's secret office. Good place for a one-on-one, -on -one, 47. Change the pin code. All right. That's that. I'll wire a handsome reward to your personal account, my friend. Or maybe... You know what? I have a better idea. Well, Mike, I guess at least one person in my security team is in a complete failure. This man just brought me my stolen item. You got anything to say for yourself? I, uh, I guess you got lucky. Lucky? You get your things and get out of my sight! Thank you, Mr. Williams. Well, Mike's been getting on my nerves for months now. The man's got no sense of personal space, you know? This promotion is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for you. Make the most of it. Rest assured, Mr. Williams. I will. Good man. Your new outfit's in that locker behind you. Yes, sir, Mr. Williams. Tyson Williams eliminated. Excellent work, 47. You 
can't fool me, bro. Just wait and see. Hey! You better get your head out of your ass. It's a hot one today. Stephen Bradley taken care of. Well done. That's all we need to do from here. Miss Hall should be able to extract the information needed from the Haven servers. Good work, 47. How was your time in paradise? Productive. Right. We should hear from the others soon. We're in. Whatever your robot did back on the island, it worked. Let's see. Yeah, here we are. You found them? Yeah, right here. But... Oh, wait a minute. Something's off. See here? All those controlling shares, those are basically the backbone of the Providence Empire, but... but they're not going to the new partner identities. What do you mean? I mean, they're allocated to someone else. Everything is. The partners are, are left with no real control. Who is Arthur Edwards? Message from Olivia. Everything's going to plan. We know where the partners are. We have our targets. You're almost there, old friend. Feels... good, doesn't it? We should head out before the storm hits. Time to fulfill our purpose, 47 to take them all down. 